the websites I was building, the apps I was building, they were designed to, um, to influence a customer. Now you went from a, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in information science, and then now you go all over the world talking about customer experience. So um, how did you make this transition from being so technical to being so human? So that, that's a really interesting question. And what I, my, my career journey, when I, when I finished my bachelor's in information science, I started uh, with an ad agency. I was in their, on their user experience team for their digital products. And that evolved to the point where I was working on strategy uh, for, for the agency. And at that point, I felt like I was, I, I certainly learned marketing on the job there, but I started to feel like I'd gotten away from my roots because the, the websites I was building, the apps I was building, they were designed to, um, to influence a customer but they weren't necessarily designed to serve the customer. I was really frustrated that oftentimes we would uncover a root issue that was not something we could advertise or communicate our way out of, but we weren't empowered to affect change there. So I went over to the corporate side. I was a UX designer and a product manager for a software company for a few years, and I ran into the same frustration that the orientation of the company, despite saying it had a focus on the customer, really had more of a focus on internal operations, efficiency, sales, and you know, honestly, if it could be tracked with a dollar value. And they weren't willing to undertake the efforts to have a truly customer-centric organization. So frustrated with that, that was when I wrote my second book, Blue Goldfish, and said, it's time to see if I can start affecting change and get out there in front of, uh, in front of CMOs, in front of the, the influencers and companies and help them see that there is a different way to go about business.